So in the last video, I went over static methods. Uh, and static methods are class methods. They're methods of the class uh, that can be run by the class without before an object of the class exists. Right? And this property is used to uh, often start up uh, programs um, if you're not using BlueJ. So uh, this programmatically <coughs> does what we manually do in BlueJ by right-clicking on the class and making a new object. Okay, that's covered in the first video. In this video, I want to go over uh, class variables or static variables as opposed to static methods. Right? A static variable is actually a little bit more useful for our purposes. It's a variable that belongs to the class, and there's only one of them created, whereas uh, instance variables or fields are, there's a copy made for each object. So if I made 100 objects of this class, there would be 100 different X's, but there would just be one Y, which is, you think of as being taken care of by the class itself versus the objects of the class. Now the, the, the objects of the class do have access to Y. They can change it and read it. So as you see here, I have a method change Y, which adds one to Y. And we're going to demo this right now. So I'll make a new static method object. And um, it, it says y equals 2. That's because I was playing around with this before. And, um, and I didn't fully stop it so that, so that y is set back to 0. So at any rate, it doesn't matter. So y is equal to 2. If I call this method change y, Remember, it's going to the class variable y and print fields y is now 3. All right, so I was able to change that, that class variable from this object. Now, let's make another object. And when I made this object, its constructor was called, which called its print method, and it, um, and it has y is equal to 3. Right? So it's reaching over to the class and saying, hey, what's, your value? what's the value of y? And it's still 3. Okay, now from this method, I can also change y, right? I can do change y. And if I go back to this one and do print fields, y is four, right? So both of these objects are accessing that one variable y, which is taken care of by the class. And that's the essence of um, class variables or static variables, right? Uh, in the next video, I'm gonna go over uh, your programming assignment for this um, related to class variables. It's a very short program, um, but I'll do that in a separate video. Okay?